Hi there, gaming fans. Now, cast your minds back to 2017 when I first joined the show. The Nintendo Switch had just come out and it was love at first sight. Four and a half years later, and it's not just my baby face that has changed. Nintendo has introduced a shiny new model, the Switch OLED. But at £310, that is 50 quid more than the bog standard version. So is it worth an upgrade? As you've probably guessed from the name, the headline feature is that OLED screen. Now, it still runs in 720p in handheld mode, but it allows for much better contrast than the original console's backlit LCD. I could even see it better in daylight. But it really comes into its own when displaying blacks, which are properly black, something that Metroid Dread shows off really well with its deep shadows and its black silhouettes that seem to fade into the corners of the screen. Speaking of corners, by slimming down the bezels, Nintendo has crammed a seven inch screen into roughly the same size chassis. Now, I wasn't expecting an increase of just under an inch to make much of a difference, but it really did, especially when you have multiple people crowding around the screen to play in local multiplayer, where you'll also benefit from the enhanced speakers. And those of you who play multiplayer online will be glad to see that this new dock comes with a built-in ethernet port for more reliable connectivity. But one of my favorite features is on the back. Those of you who've used an original Switch console will know that the kickstand that you use to prop it up on a tabletop is a flimsy little thing. My first one went loose and I have friends who've snapped theirs off entirely. No such risk here. The new kickstand is sturdy, spans the width of the console and is adjustable so you can prop your switch up to whatever position suits your situation. So is this new model an improvement? Definitely. It is the higher quality version that it feels like the original should have been. If you are considering buying a Nintendo Switch for the first time, that extra 50 quid is definitely worth it.